Now, maybe you didn't take Greg Maddox because one of the uh, great stories in the new book, Ball Player by Chipper Jones, is uh, Greg Maddox had a weird habit in the uh, showers post game, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, everybody always asks, you know, what were those guys like? And da 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 da. You know, I mean, Smoltz is the, the most competitive, and, you know, uh, uh, Glass got the the fire in his belly and, you know, the, the unbreakable poise and hmm. all this kind of stuff. And, and doggy is the grossest human being that I've ever, <laughs> ever <laughs> been around in my life. You know I mean? He just does things now. Like you know, what? You have, it, like in a clubhouse type atmosphere, that fraternity type atmosphere, it's hilarious, mm-hmm. you know, but it's, it, it's not accepted once you step outside you know, the, the clubhouse and, and doggy was like that 24 seven. I mean, doggy would, you know, my, my very first hit in the big leagues, he wiped boogers on it and stuff like that. I mean, obviously he peed on me in the shower. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Pete on the shower. Yeah. To settle down, yeah. Trump, settle down. Listen, <laughs> let me read a little anecdote uh, for uh, not for you chipper, but uh, since you penned it, but for everyone, here's the quote uh, from the book. I was the butt of quite a few pranks over the years. There was a time or two after a game where Maddox would find something important to talk to me about in the shower. I'd be locked in, engaged in conversation. I mean, you're talking to Greg Maddox, and everybody else in the shower would start snickering. I'd look down, and he'd be peeing all over me. (laughs) Yeah. Hall of Fame move by Greg Maddox. Doggy. Well, I mean, you know, everybody's got the little – you know, idiosyncrasies and doggies was trying to gross people out. And uh, I, I tell you what, he did it to me when I was a young enough kid that I let him get away with it. I think, you know, seven, eight years into my career, there might have been a, uh, there might have been a naked fight in the shower, to be honest with you. <laughs> Yeah, that's a yeah. It's it's weird when you can trade on your uh, you know Greg Maddox is a future Hall of Famer. He can do whatever he wants. You can't say anything to him, especially no. if you're a young player, right? Yeah, well, he was the uh, fourteen, fifteen million dollar man at that at that point, and um, you know, yeah, I I sort of deemed myself expendable if I ever did anything to uh, to Greg at that point. So well, I hope you paid it, it forward or uh, peed it forward. Well, I wasn't uh, – I, I didn't have the imagination that he did. <laughs> I was more there to, <laughs> to just kind of play baseball. Uh, I, was, I was a facilitator of pranks through the years, mm. especially in my older years. Guys would come to me and say, hey, we want to do this, and I would – allow i would facilitate it i would help it happen but i wasn't the uh i wasn't the the brain trust behind it the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience